Hey guys, Jason Matthew here from Trinidad and Tobago and welcome to the Biochem GM YouTube channel. Now today we're going to be looking at name the product. So we have finished our study of glycolytic reactions and now this is just a, just a quick revision and to make sure that you know all the different products in the, glycolyt uh, in the 10 glycolytic reactions. So if you think that your glycolysis kung fu is a little rusty, please go and check the videos and revise your your reactions and so on and then come back and try this out now i should warn you it's not in order so let's get started so the first one you have one three bits phosphoglycerate the enzyme is phosphoglycerate kinase and what is the product guys so you should have said three phosphoglycerate we are continuing triose phosphate isomerase it's converting DHAP, which is dihydroxyacetone phosphate, to, that's right, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So you have DHAP going converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So what you end up with is two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate entering the second phase, the, the energy generation phase of glycolysis. Glucose 6-phosphate. Your enzyme is phosphohexose isomerase. Your product is, that's right, fructose 6-phosphate. Yay! You're converting an aldo sugar to a keto sugar. That's why you're using an isomerase enzyme. Now you are removing water. So what type of reaction that is, guys? That's correct. Enolase will catalyze a dehydration reaction and it's converting 2-phosphoglycerate to... Phosphoenol pyruvate, better known as PEP. Fructose 6-phosphate, and this is the big man in glycolysis, PFK1. It is the main regulatory enzyme of glycolysis. It is the second primary reaction of glycolysis. So you are consuming one molecule of ATP, and your product is fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Very good. Now, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, and this is the aldolase reaction. Now, in the aldolase reaction, we actually have some lysis taking place. You're converting six carbons to two, three carbon molecules, and they are named glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So, how are we going so far, guys? Everybody getting all correct? I hope so. If not, maybe it's time you pause and you go back and you check your videos on glycolysis and you know that the sharp back these skills you know because it, if you're getting some damage right now you know you, sh you should go back and do some revision guys right so let's go to the next reaction oh gosh this is a very easy one guys if you get this wrong hmm trouble you want licks you're going glucose the enzyme is hexokinase and you're consuming one molecule of ATP this is the first priming reaction of glycolysis where you consume one molecule of ATP. What is the product, guys? It's a kinase enzyme. So the product is glucose 6-phosphate. Now, if you look at this arrow here, the arrow goes in one direction only. Now, let's just recap something here. In glycolysis, there are 10 enzyme reactions. Seven of them are reversible reactions, meaning that they can go both forward and in the reverse direction. Three of them goes in one direction only. Because they go in the other direction, it's very energetically unfavorable. There's a huge um, activation barrier that it has to overcome to go in the reverse direction. One such enzyme reaction is hexokinase. What are the other two, guys? Excellent. PFK1 and pyruvate kinase are the other two enzymes that catalyze a reaction in one direction only in glycolysis. Excellent job. Three phosphoglycerate. Our enzyme is phosphoglycerate mutase. Our product is excellent, 2-phosphoglycerate. So we're almost at the end. Phosphoenol pyruvate. Our enzyme is pyruvate kinase. All right. And this is the last reaction in glycolysis, and you make ATP. Remember, this is the this is your, this is your your payoff reaction because um, this is where you actually make some profit, right? You paid off your debts in earlier, well, higher up. Now you're actually going to make some ATP that you could use. And PEP is converted to, what is the, the final product? Pyruvate. Excellent. 
Oh, we have a lot of stuff happening here. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, the enzyme is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. You are adding inorganic phosphate, so that's a phosphorylation reaction. And you have NAD plus going to NAD, so that's an oxidation taking place. Now, this phosphorylation is slightly different from the one like what you looked at for hexokinase or PFK1, in that the phosphate is not coming from ATP, it's coming from inorganic phosphate. Now, normally, that's not energetically feasible, but you also have another reaction where you have NAD plus going to NAD, that's oxidation. And the energy that is released from such an oxidation process is what makes the um, possible the addition of the phosphate group. And I should also point out, this is the only oxidation step in glycolysis. And your product is 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate or 1,3-BPG. So guys, I hope this video was short, sweet, and useful. Hit the like button, subscribe to the Biochem GM YouTube channel, and send your comments. We love to hear from you all. Thank you very much for all your support, and look out for more videos coming soon. Take care, guys.